The Balian is the most important family of architects in 19th century who for three generations designed and implemented buildings for the Ottoman Sultans and who could achieve a unique interpretation of local Istanbul architecture. We can trace the, the buildings of Balian practice to three generations. The first is the Krikor, the founder of the dynasty, Krikor Balian, his son Garabet, and Garabet's sons Nikogos, Sarkis, and Agop. The Ottoman Armenians working as architects for the Ottoman Sultans was always common, but especially after the success of the Greek revolt of 1821, that helped the Ottoman Armenian architects to start working almost exclusively for the Ottoman Sultans. The Ottoman Armenian architects exclusively used Armenian masters, uh, stone workers, painters, so all the teams were consisted of consisted of Armenian members of the community. From 16th century on, we have the Amira title in Armenian community, which is extremely important. This title etymologically derives from the Arabic word of Amir, which is prince, and especially in 19th century, becomes an extremely important title for the Ottoman Armenian community. A significant part of the churches in Istanbul are built in 1820s and 1840s, during the reign of Sultan Mahmud II. And it was possible thanks to the privileges given to the Amiras. And Garebat Balian is the leading Amira in this construction period. So with using his privileges, his personal privileges, and his friendship with the Sultan himself, he could obtain all the permissions to build seminaries, churches, and institutions for the Armenian community of Istanbul. The eclecticism of Balian buildings is various. So from Baroque to Rococo to Neoclassicism, the only common item is the magnificence and the splendor, which reflects the client's will, which is the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. Balians are mostly known for the imperial palaces and mosques they built in Istanbul. Almost all imperial palaces in Istanbul in 19th century somehow are related to Balian family, Balian Atelier. For example, Domabahce Palace, Beylar Bey Palace, and Chiram Palace on the Bosphorus are typical examples. From outside, they look like European palaces, but if you go and look inside, the architectural plan itself reflects perfectly the Ottoman way of living. Thanks to the Balian archive, for the first time, we can see the design process of these important buildings. Not only the design process of existing buildings, but also many unimplemented projects which is an, an important uh, gain for the Ottoman architectural history. For example, uh, one of the discoveries in the Balian archive is the unimplemented proposals for the monumental building of Baba Ali, Sublim Port. Another very important building is the first museum in Ottoman history. We have its plan in Balian archive, which is the Armory Museum installed in the existing Byzantine church of Ayerini. We have many unimplemented projects, mansions, imperial kiosks, and palaces in the Balian archive. For example, we have the original plans of Beylar Bey, the Feria palaces, and different proposals for Chiran Palace. It's the first time that we see different proposals which span 15 years of design for one single palace, which is Chiran. But the most important discovery in the Balian archive is probably the Azizia Mosque's project. If the mosque was completed, it would have been the biggest mosque of Istanbul, with the biggest dome, and for the first time, four minarets after three centuries to be seen in Istanbul. And it would have dominated Bosphorus. So we are talking about an extremely important monumental mosque, which would have revolutionized the Ottoman mosque architecture. The history of Balian architecture suffered from a distortion for a long time. 19th century, which the Balians produced and built extensively, is seen in 20th century Turkish historiography as a period of decline, which ended with the collapse of the Ottoman Empire. Recent studies have acknowledged that Balians are important figures of the Ottoman past. Today, for example, when you visit Dolmabahce Palace, uh, contrary to 20th century visits, it is, uh, it is told by the guides that it is built by Balian family. If you go to Istanbul today, you will see that local people love Balian buildings. They live with them. They face them every day. They visit them. They pray in them. So it's really an important part of Istanbul life today. 
it's it's undeniable part of Istanbul life. So they really deserve to be known better. They really deserve to be given credit. They really deserve to to be acknowledged.